Hello and welcome to the demonstration of AppSeq Connect. In today's demonstration, I will be showcasing you the integration between Salesforce and Priority by using our product AppSeq Connect. So in our cloud portal, I already have created the connector between Salesforce and Priority. So all the configuration and mapping part has been done, which will be taking place in our cloud portal in this portal.appsec Connect. I will be starting off with the account sync or customer sync between Salesforce to Priority direction and uh, I have a demo Salesforce account which is connected with the demo database company of priority so let's start with the account sync rather we can say the customer synchronization so let's provide all the information like the account name firstly let's make it an active one and I'm providing unique mail address details okay after that you can provide the billing address information here and let's make copy it for the shipping one so i'm adding a default one so i can use for both the billing shipping purpose but of course if you want to add different billing shipping addresses that can be possible also i'm providing only the defaults and mandatory fields for this demo purpose apart from this if customer has the any custom fields and if they want to add some other fields include including this one that can be also possible we also can sync the custom field now i'm going back to the agent and let's um, start the synchronization so uh, i'm just logged in with the same credential which i have used for the portal now i'm quickly go to the sync panel where i can have all the integration point so i've made that in auto mode so uh, we have two trigger modes available one is auto another one is manual for the manual mode you have to trigger this but if you want to make this in auto mode you have to just provide the time so let's say one minute so data will synchronize for the uh, for every one minute you don't have to start or play anything it will automatically fetching the data and pushing it to the destination so i have added this as a auto mode and so i already have put it the timing here so uh, the synchronization is automatically take place and to check the result you have two options one is the recent bucket where you can get to know about the result of the synchronization like whether it is successfully synced or not and uh, some uh, sometimes you can see that customer doesn't want to have all the integration uh, in auto mode on that case you just simply uh, toggle the option in the manual and you can start this play button and once you have started the synchronization will be taking place and uh, so i have made the changes in auto mode so that's why uh, the synchronization already happened so let's go and check so i'm going to the resync bucket and you can see the result of the synchronization it's showing success if any kind of failure occurred we also can track the synchronization in our error log so this is the error log where you can uh, get uh, all the details regarding the uh, according to the timestamp now i'm quickly go to the priority account and let's find with the name so let's go to the customers part and let's find with the uh, name which i've created here it is so here is the customer information which I have added in the Salesforce and all those details which I have provided those are showing here like the email ID address information and this is the exact number you also can mention in your priority side and this is the name so I have added as I said only the default fields apart from this if any new uh, or custom field uh, customer want to sync that can be possible so moving to the next integration then that will be item synchronization i'm moving on to the item sync uh, which will be taking place from priority to salesforce so i'm providing all the information for the item firstly the part number i have to mention here so i have added the part number now i'm providing the description And here you can put the prices for this um, demo purpose I'm using only the default fills apart from this if any uh, other uh, or custom fills customers want to sync that can be possible so uh, let's go to the remarks part where I can put description for the item And I have added all the default fills. Now let's just save this. 
now i'm going to the agent and this will be synchronized from priority to salesforce so firstly i'm using this product add integration point once the synchronization has been done so i have added this in manual mode so that's why you have to trigger but you also can have this in auto mode so once the synchronization has been done you can check the result in the racing bucket so um, you can check the result in the racing bucket so i have already synchronized the product and also uh, with this i have added the standard price ad in auto mode so it is already synchronized so let's go and check uh, whether it is present in the salesforce direction or not so for that i'm going to the products part to find out the newly created product and here it is so you can say the details like the product name code which i have added so you also can maintain the exact uh, skew whether i can see uh, here and the standard price which i have added which is showing here now so uh, this is the uh, also with this item if you want to add different uh, prices for the different price book those information can be sent moving to the order synchronization which will be taking place from sales force to priority side of course so i will place an order and i'm using the same customer so let's find out the customer here or i can say the account so here it is let's put the order start date and end date of course and here i'm mentioning all the information let's save it once the order has been added okay so the order has been added now i'm going to the order products part or i can assign a product for that particular order so let's choose the standard group price and let's find out the name here it is so let's select this product and i'm adding the quantity and save this so the order has been placed along with the product as you can see now moving to the agent and this will be synchronized from salesforce to priority so let's uh, changes in auto mode and we can provide the time over here let's provide two minute or one minute minimum time is one minute for the synchronization so i'm going to the priority orders uh, section where i can find the newly created sales auto let's find with the customer name here it is so you can see the information so here is the sales order which i have created in salesforce and all the details which i have provided those are showing like the order or the customer details information and the prices which i have mentioned so I have added two quantities so the prices are showing the as well as the currency if you scroll down and let, let's go to the order items page so you can see the exact order item which i have added uh, and quantity and unit price those are showing here and this is the due date which i have added for this sales order so including this if you want to add any uh, other field with the sales order uh, details that can be synchronized easily these are the few integration point which i have configured for this demo purpose if you have any kind of queries you please contact with apps connect team thank you